Manipur. Remember, the Home Minister Amit Shah, in fact, is in Imphal in Manipur to take stock of the situation to try and understand what's leading to the unrest. On your screens, what you can also see is the Chief Minister Pirin also meeting with the Home Minister. The Home Minister holding a series of meetings. This is something that we reported on CNN News 18. You had the Home Minister reaching Imphal last night. He will be there for today and tomorrow, and then we'll come back to the national capital. This comes at a very crucial time when unrest between the army and militants only continues to increase. Arunama is joining us on the broadcast. Arunama, good morning. This is something that you had confirmed for us yesterday that the Home Minister, in fact, will be in Imphal, Manipur for 48 hours. What's on the agenda? What are the kind of talks that he's already had? So he's met uh, all the ministers and the chief minister on landing there. There were also the BJP in charge uh, for Manipur, Sambit Prata's presence uh, there, as well as officials from the Ministry of Home Affairs. Ajay Bhalla, Union Home Secretary, Tapandeka, Inter- Intelligence Bureau Chief, other officials who are handling the Manipur issue, they were all part of this meeting. So what was the big takeaway? Uh, it was, uh, you know, discussing not just the security import of what is happening, but also the political side of it. Since there is so much of uh, discord against the way the administration led by by Chief Minister Indiran Singh is functioning. It seems that the administration too has been polarized there between the cookies and the maitis. The input that has reached the center is that officers who belong to the cookie tribe are being behaving in a you know partisan manner towards uh, their own brethren. And it's the same for the officers who are from the maiti tribe. So if, if the administration starts taking sides in a communal uh, situation, it becomes very difficult. Um, that's why I think a decision has been taken to also move in officers from outside Manipur. Uh, IG of CRPF, Rajiv Singh, who is a Tripura Kader officer. The ACC has approved his uh, cr- uh, you know, cross-deputation to Manipur. So he's being sent there. Uh, Kuldeep Singh, former Director General of CRPF, is already there as in, in his role as an advisor. Vineet Joshi, the Chief Secretary who was in Delhi, has been rushed back a few days ago. Uh, so attempt is being made to bring in officers who can handle the situation, but who are not seen as officers taking sides. So that's the big thing that the centre is moving to do right now. Home Minister is meeting women's group. He's met the governor there. He's also wanted to meet civil society groups there. Uh, one point agenda, try and get back Manipur to normalcy, ensure that peace is restored. Arunama, we'll just request you to stay on with us. We also have our colleague Kamalika Sen Gupta also now joining us on the broadcast. Kamalika, good morning. Politically, you know, Arunama has put the story in context for us. You help us understand with the ground situation, what does the ground situation yeah. look like today? The ground situation is still tense. Obviously, in the last 24 hours, there has not been any untoward incidents in Manipur, specifically neither in Imphal nor in in Hill area. A couple of uh, small fringe uh, incidents have come up, but uh, the things deteriorated on Saturday, Sunday. But Monday and today in the morning, right now, till now, situation is uh, is tense. But situation, there is no fresh violence reports have not come in. But the point here is obviously the, the political outreach. That is what is required in Manipur. The security forces, the central paramilitary forces, they will stop the violence. But what after that? Who's going to work there? There is the question that, you know, the two communities, it's just, the division is very sharp. Mm. You know, division is like that, that uh, uh, the one community, uh, you know, where the dominance of one community is there, you cannot take other community people uh, there, even as a driver. You know, if one has to go to uh, from hills to valley, okay. then a person who has to be in the valley, who has to be in the hills, he has to be from that community. Okay. The person who has to be uh, run, who has to drive car in uh, valley, that person has to be from the community of valley. Okay. So this is the divide. You know, it's just a border between a state mm. where the division is very sharp, and there's where the scare, there's where the fear, there is the tension. Okay. This is it's in our own country, uh, mm. in in a, in a one state, there is two sharp uh, two sharp areas. Okay. One is dominated by one community, others mm. is dominated by other communities. Sure. So yes, yeah. what we got from our mm. sources that Shah has, I mean, the Home Minister has cleared. But come what may, there has to be peace and political outrage. And that's why he's totally meeting up the community. He is not sitting in okay. Valley only. He will be going to Churatanpur also, where there is a cookie domination. Sure. Yeah. So, what Manipur so the July message that's I coming in from the Home Minister is that peace and calm needs to prevail. If Arunama is still with us, Arunama, I want to understand which are these specific areas that the Home Minister will be visiting to try and take stock of the situation? 
See, it's, it's a fluid situation because security is a concern. Uh, so it is a decision being taken by the hour. Largely, we have been told that he will want to meet representatives uh, from all across. Whether he can travel to Churchandrapur, Bishnupur, these are areas which are, which are cookie dominant. And these are areas from which the state government and the state intelligence has reported that cookie militant groups uh, who were so far under the suspension of operation agreement, which basically means a ceasefire agreement that they will not pick up arms against the forces. They have started violating that agreement uh, and uh, they, they're burning down uh, homes. Uh, there, there's a lot of firing that is happening and firing not with primitive weapons, weapons, firing with automatic weapons, including AK series rifles. Where are they getting these weapons from? The charges uh, that, you know, th- there has been looting of armories. The charges that, you know, at some places, uh, they have been just, the administration has just handed over appearing for their lives or because they're supporting then there are various allegations and counter allegations. But the point is that these cookie militants have taken up uh, the, the okay. areas, cookie dominated areas in their hands. So will the Home Minister's visit hmm. be advised is something we'll have to see. But he would definitely want to meet those representatives. Okay. Arunam and Kamolika, keep tracking all those developments for us. This is a story that we'll keep tracking very, very closely. For now, we're slipping into.